Hello everyone. Today we are discussing about dual signature. Dual means more than one party are involved in the transaction. We have not done online transaction using credit card, debit card, and smart card, etc. And we know online e-commerce applications such as Amazon, Flipkart, eBay, etc. And let's see how the online transaction happens when we do the payment and how secure is our transaction. So, dual signature is the important part of online transaction. And let's discuss dual signature. Before discussing the dual signature, we should know what is SEC. SCT means Secure Electronic Transaction Protocol. SCT protocol arrested revealing of credit card details to merchants thus keeping hackers and thieves at bay. Let's see a general scenario of electronic transaction which includes a customer, merchant, payment gateway, merchant financial institution, Customer financial institution. Okay. So this, the issuer is the customer financial institution and the acquirer is the merchant financial institution. Merchant got the payment through the payment gateway from the merchant financial institution. SCT protocol has some requirements to meet. It has to provide mutual authentication, that is, customer authentication by confirming if the customer is either that user or not, and merchant authentication. And also it has, it has to keep the payment information and order information confidential by appropriate encryption. And it has to be resistive against message modification, that is, no change should be allowed in the content being transmitted. And also need to provide interoperability and make use of the scenario, sorry, the security mechanisms. Here, use different encryption and hashing techniques to secure payments over internet and to credit cards. Okay, let's start with dual signature. The dual signature is a concept introduced with SCT, which aims at connecting two information pieces meant for two different receivers. That is OI, that is the order information for merchant and the PA. PA means payment information for bank. Sending them separately is an easy and more secure way, but sending them in a connected form resource any future dispute possible. That is the generation of dual signature. The three parties in this are the customer, the merchant and the vendor. And in the customer part, what the customer do is he takes a hash of the payment information and hash of the order information. And concatenating these two hash and take the hash of the resultant. And finally what the customer do is he encrypt the final hash with his or her private signature key and creating the US signature. That is shown in the Formula. This formula is very important and this is the construction of real signature and H of PA concatenated with H of OA. H is the hash of order information, H of PA is the hash of payment information and concatenating these two hash and is the hash of the resultant. And finally, customer encrypt the final hash with Customer private signature key and forming the dual study, dual signature. Okay. And the next part is the merchant side. 
Structure has the ability of customer. And she taken from the customer certificate. What merchant do is merchant compute the quantity. He used the public key for decrypting. For decryption, that is, EMC is the public key of customer. Merchant got this from the customer certificate. And he, he used this public key for decryption. And what he do is he compute the quantities and if these two quantities are equal, then the merchant has verified the signature. And H of O is the hashing of order information. P O M is the payment order message digest. And take the hash of this result. That's all about the merchant set and the next is the bank set. And here also bank compute this quantity. Here also the bank use the public key of the customer for the description. And you see is the public key of customer that he got from the certificate that is provided by the certificate authority. And also OAMD is the order information message digest. And HFOA is the Hash of is order information and concatenating these two and the hash of the result is taken. And this formula is also very important. In total, three formulas are there. One in the customer portion, that is the construction of dual signature, and second is the merchant side, and third is the bank side. And it's summary. And this, this is the figure of the construction of real signature and here A is the payment information, A is the order information and what initially do is take the hash of PL and hash of OAN concatenating these two and take the resultant, take the hash of this resultant and finally encrypt using the customer private key forming the dual signature. And that's all about the construction of this dual signature. And that's about the summary of dual signature. And in summary, the merchant has received OA and verified the signature. And in the banker side, what the banker do is bank has received PA and verified the signature. The customer has seen this OAN PM can prove the linkage. That's all about the dual signature. Thank you.